Hello, welcome to Story Circles. I'm Carolyn. If you follow Story Circles on YouTube, you know our stories come from all over the world. Here's one with a distinctly Trinidadian flavor. It's called Eric, Derek, and Pang. Once, there were three happy-go-lucky brothers, Eric, Derek, and Pang, who were all fishermen. They had a big argument about who should inherit their deceased grandfather's famous black and silver off-road motorcycle. There was an old retired judge in the little seaside town where they lived who had a reputation as a fair and trustworthy person. And to this judge, the brothers went when they could not resolve their quarrel. Each explained why the motorcycle should be his. The judge listened carefully, then told them to return in 24 hours for a decision. The next day, the judge said, I've weighed your arguments and... It's impossible to decide in favor of one. The brothers were indignant. Each claimed that the answer was obvious. The judge chuckled. Relax. No puzzle can puzzle me for long. I'll find out before this hour is over which of you deserves this motorcycle. Now, you seem to be three pretty idle guys. I'll decide in favor of whichever of the three of you is the idlest. Well, said Eric, it's me that should get Grandpa's motorcycle because I'm the least interested in work. Just how idle are you? asked the judge. Well, said Eric, I'd stay at home lying in my hammock all day rather than take my boat out at sunrise. There's always enough to eat from my brother's nets anyway. That is indeed very idle, said the judge. I doubt your brothers can be as idle as you. Oh, hang on, said Derek. I'm just as idle as he. You are, said the judge. How idle are you? I am so idle that if I do go out fishing at dawn, I take my guitar. Instead of throwing my net, I strum my guitar in the cool morning breeze. You are a pretty idle man, Derek. I doubt if Pang is as idle as either of you. Wait a minute, said Pang. I'm every bit as idle as my brothers. Really, tell me, said the judge. Every single day when I bring my catch in, it's my mum who takes care of the sorting and the sales while I crawl into my bed and sleep for three hours of the day. Ah, said the judge, you leave your mum to do all the work while you sleep. Well, this is indeed a great quandary. It seems you are three of the idlest men I've ever met. And who's the idlest is impossible to say. So, I'll give the motorcycle to whoever is the most adventurous. Well, if that's it, it's me that gets the motorcycle, said Eric. Why is that, said the judge. Because it's me who rode my bike from Manzanilla to Icarcos and back with nothing but my water bottle, a bag of peanuts, and a whistle on my lips. My... That must be at least 300 kilometers. You do indeed have a thirst for adventure, said the judge. I suspect you can't be beaten. Hang on, said Derek. I've gone hiking to the bat caves in Tamina, wearing nothing but shorts and a pair of rubber slippers, and spent the night in the inner chamber with thousands of bats and all types of lizards. Well, said the judge, you're certainly an adventurous man. I don't see how Pang could 
possibly rival that. Wait a minute," said Pang. "I am the one who swam from Mosquito Creek to Invaders Bay, accompanied all the way by a seven-foot tiger shark." Well, well, well," said the judge. "It seems like you three are, in fact, equally adventurous, and I'm still left in a quandary." So now I'm going to give this motorcycle to the man who is the frankest, most plain-speaking one among you. Well, thank you," said Eric, "because now this motorcycle is mine for sure. How come? Well, if I saw my best friend's son picking mangoes from a neighbor's tree, not only would I tell the boy to stop stealing, I'd report him to his father. And the police, and I'd write to the newspapers to make sure everyone knows. Then, Eric, I do think you call it as you see it. I don't see how your brothers could possibly be more direct," said the judge. "Hang on a minute," said Derek. "If I were getting married, as one day I hope I will, and my bride was dressed up in the most beautiful clothes, but..." Her makeup was badly done, or her breath was smelly, or the wedding food was no good. I would be the first to tell her. Her most piteous tears would not prevent me from saying the truth. You are indeed as frank a man as your brother," said the judge. "Pang, I don't think you have a chance." "Don't be too sure of that," said Pang. When the time comes to speak the truth, I am your man, and when people try to pull wool over my eyes, I can see right through it. Well, it seems to me that you three are the most wonderful men I've ever met," said the judge. "In fact, I suspect there have never been men as great as you, not on this planet, and the likes of you may never be seen again." The three brothers glanced at each other. The judge continued, "There is only one other trial, and if this doesn't give us the answer, I'll just have to give up. I will give the motorcycle to the cleverest man amongst you." Then said Eric, "You may as well give it to me now, not waste your time." "Why is that? Are you really all that clever?" Said the judge, "I am clever. I am so clever that I can persuade the strongest, meanest pit bull to give up his ham bone for a banana." Oh well," said the judge. "I think the case is decided." Not so fast, friend," said Derek. "Just hold on a minute." Oh," said the judge. Do you mean you are cleverer than that? How do you even ask that question? Said Derek. Well, Derek, tell me what you can do that's better. Said the judge. Put me in a yard at dinner time with ten pit bulls. Said Derek, and give me ten seconds. I'll switch out all their bones with green leafy vegetables, and not one pit bull will bite me. Well, I've never even heard of anyone as clever as you two boys," said the judge, who turned to the third brother. "Poor Pang, I'm very sorry for you because you don't have a chance." "Don't be so sure of that," said Pang. Why said the judge? There's no way you can be as clever as either of them. Tell me, how clever are you? If I was a judge, said Pang, and I couldn't figure out a case because I was being bamboozled by three men in front of me, I'd be clever enough to look wise and give some decision. Pang. Said the judge with a twinkle of a smile, 
after careful and complete deliberation of all arguments presented, I hereby declare you to be the recipient and new owner of your grandfather's famous silver and black off-road motorcycle. If you enjoyed this video, please hit your subscribe button to get more stories for listening and reading.